This home was built in 1905. This is the driveway and the property. This is the home. It's not the best time, there's the pool. Not the best time to be taking a picture. But the cloud just happened. So let me walk up the driveway and you will see Another home that this gentleman had built across the street. Oh, the sun came out. All right, so here. We are now going to go into the corner. Prior to doing that, I will go over to the side to show you where eventually they will have a garage. But right now there's a very old carport that was probably once upon a time a stable in the back there. 24,500 square feet of land. It is the old style porch. Here's the porch. Another view of the porch. Let's go into this home. The commanding staircase, the high ceilings, the beautiful wood floors, kitchen, the parlor, and the dining room, all formal back looking at the front door and your wide expanse of grass lawn in front. We are now going to go into the parlor the front room or another living area high ceilings That is an original window there. Now we are heading into the formal dining room. High ceilings again, beautiful wood floors, wainscoting on the walls. Another way to go into the kitchen. Three doors actually into this room. Let's stop for a moment and look at this very impressive staircase. Now we head into the kitchen. Absolutely gorgeous, huge kitchen. You could put a table in the kitchen, you could put a chopping block. There's a lot of things you could do with this lovely kitchen. Beautiful cabinetry, Electrolux, individual refrigerator, individual freezer, door out to the pool, beautiful granite. Actually saw this cabinetry in a picture in England in the royal family's room where they took portraits. Same cabinetry. Very high ceilings once again. Beautiful view of your property overlooking where you clean up at the sink. I'll stop for a moment and look out at the pool. So you have an idea when I take you to the pool down there. Or your property down there. Back 
back into the kitchen. Beautiful floor. Here's your half bath for your guests to use off of your kitchen or dinette area. And here's your dinette area. Once again, light enters in with the beautiful windows and you have another door that leads out to the exterior so that if you have your car, you can come up here with your packages. Here is a backstairs to the upstairs, and here is a downstairs, which we'll go to later. So now, into the, back into the living room, and up these stairs. The back stairs, the front stairs. Let's take a look at the living area down below. Huge, wide hallway, same high ceilings. To your left is a bedroom, straight ahead is a porch area that was enclosed years ago. Another master bedroom over there, a bedroom to the right, another master bedroom here, master bathroom, hall bathroom, and hall closet. Let's look at this bathroom. You have your washer dryer here, and you have a shower, shower seat, high ceilings again, laundry area upstairs where you have your clothes. Here's your master bathroom. Very period. You feel as though you're back in 1905. Master bath, master bedroom dressing area. Many closets. Going now into your first master bedroom. High ceilings. Wood floors. Going outside to the hallway. Going now into the other room through a bedroom, through the master bedroom. That's what's unique about this home is every bedroom leads to the next bedroom if you don't want to go out into the hallway. So this is your middle bedroom here. Lots of lights, closets. Let's go on through the bedroom, through the closet. Peekaboo closet here. And we are now in the second master bedroom or the third room third bedroom and this is overlooking your your beautiful lawn and your driveway and that's Kamehameha Avenue out there with another period of home across the street Colonial Victor Victor and your closet and the Hall, which we are now back into the hall. Let's go now into a porch that was enclosed years ago. And I'm told that they made jewelry here, the Ming family, years ago. Here's the fourth bedroom. Same high ceilings throughout this entire house. Over here is a walk-in closet. That's pretty much upstairs. Let's head downstairs. We'll go the back stairs now. Going the back stairs. Going through the kitchen. 
and now turning and going down to the downstairs. Another closet. And here is downstairs. You've got bathroom, shower, entrance to outside, hookup if you wanted to set up another kitchen area, solar, hot water heater, and a bedroom, a huge bedroom down here. Big, big room down here. So let's go outside. And here is your property out here, the carport over there. That's Ka'ala Way over that way. And these are the stairs that I spoke about earlier off the kitchen. Here's another view onto the veranda or front porch. Okay, we'll just take some time and go look out at the pool from this entrance. Two entrances to the pool, one off the kitchen that I showed you earlier, and one here. So you see the pool area. Okay, that's it.